So this is the first annual uh, Lunabotics mining competition that's sponsored by NASA. They announced this opportunity for a way to go back to our, our universities and apply the principles of systems engineering to a real project with the end goal being a, uh, to compete in this competition. And so as part of that, uh, they had a pool of funding that we could apply to. So I came back to MSU and uh, worked with some colleagues, Hunter Lloyd in the computer science department and Rob Larson in the mechanical engineering technology department. And we proposed a, uh, a project to NASA to get funding uh, to run this, this Lunabotics senior design. We put together an interdisciplinary student team that involved capstone projects from computer science, electrical and computer engineering, and also from mechanical and mechanical engineering technology. So in the beginning, uh, we were given a set of rules for the competition, and this was everything from uh, uh, mass limits, the rules of the competition, the size of the sandbox, uh, power constraints, communication constraints, and that set, that basically acted as the customer specifications. So then the customer specifications were delivered to the entire design team, and then the students were given the opportunity to actually formulate design alternatives. And so the faculty advisors in a senior capstone, we basically play the role as uh, somewhat project managers, but we really want the students to do the design. So we try to make sure that a customer delivers specifications and then turn it over to the students and really allow them to come up with the design alternatives. So the faculty on this project did not get involved in any of the design and we, we would weigh in if asked, but we really let the students kind of hash it out amongst the team as to what was the best design. We looked at past designs, other things that have been done, you know, whether it be straight up designs that were used in similar competitions or designs used in actual like mining operations in the real world. With this project, we were able to intertwine, intertwine with all these different types of engineers. We were electrical engineers, computer engineers, computer science, mechanical engineers, and mechanical engineering technology. And you know, it was a big thing on how everything interfaces together. I was also very impressed with how the, the different disciplines work together uh, motors being controlled by electronics, uh, electronics being controlled by uh, wireless networking. The sophistication of the mechanical design was was very impressive. Uh, I could not have envisioned something that, I guess, complex, sophisticated, and operational. I'm not as nervous as I was, that's for sure. Uh, we got a couple things working, you know, and I think my nerves will go down after today, after we do a couple more tests. Everyone has said with these type of competitions, you know, a lot of people go down there and it's like 20% of the robots don't even move. So, I mean, if we can go down there and move some dirt, you know, I'll be pretty happy. But, I mean, of course, winning would be, would be great. When the advisors sit back and look at it, uh, we kind of wonder if we could have came up with something as, as neat as what they came up with.